Bad boy, are you ready for the bass? My DJ, yo, get on the case. Hey guys, Video Fletcher, episode 54 of Play Smarter, series where I give tips and tricks, I talk theory, um, talk balance, talk just general ideas about Gears of War and we try to improve together. I look at people's gameplay footage, um, I have a serious lack of submissions, so if you want to submit gameplay, I can commentate and give you tips or just talk about what a great game you had and why exactly you managed to have that good game. Uh, so we can sort of promote your gameplay and also help others not just watch good gameplay but understand how they managed to get that score or objective game mode or whatever. Now I've tried to hold off sort of doing this um, play smarter for forever really. I don't really want to do this one and it's because it involves the Lancer. Now I've done a few other tutorials um, that I personally don't agree with. I don't enjoy the play style but it does make you win. It does improve you as a player, and it is effective on Gears of War, so I thought I should do it. Now that tutorial was the keep control of power weapons and set up, um, that was ages ago, that, and that was like episode around about the 20s, I think, that was some of the first ones we did. That was maybe even in the beta. And I didn't really want to do any more that, that create frustrating playstyles, but I think well, it's got to be said anyway that this is just a straight effective method. Um, just team lancering. Um, it's almost, uh, well, it is. It is too effective, uh, especially with stopping power, as you're seeing. Um, it's just ridiculously strong, and this guy didn't know was behind me. So, I will say that me and Stotty have been doing this now for six seven games this 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 lancering using no shotgun literally no shotgun uh, and we've never lost um yes we were playing quick match but we've done this in ranked matches as well and um, this just happened to be in a quick match um as it's not really the this the so-called gameplay that i'm showing you i'm not showing you anything amazing here i'm just basically explaining that if you don't do it um through want of not wanting to be an ass basically or you simply don't know that the Lancer really is unbelievably good at long, uh, at long range yes mid range yes and point blank yes um, if you hit your actives on this Lancer it will drop people it's not even like close they just get dropped and the the funny thing about this playstyle is basically you can die um, but the, the person that's shotgunning has to hit two shots. They have to hit the first two shots. If they don't hit the very first two shots, they die every single time. Because you can't sponge Lancer bullets. Um, basically, you get point blank and you'll just spray. And if the spraying doesn't down them, then your mate will. And then if shit hits the fan, you can chainsaw. Now, this may seem like a really terrible video and a really annoying video to post, but if I'm doing tips and if I'm doing tactics, I think it's only right that to, to show this playstyle and to show that currently in Gears of War, this is very, very viable. Um, honestly, like me and Stotty roll in a pack of two, and this is only two of us. We're just hit fire lantern and crossing. Um, nothing, there's no special technique, it's literally get actives, get in their face, shoot for the head, the head does more damage, that is a, te uh, a tip that you can have, um, but honestly it's just sheer DPS. If they miss their first shot and there is two people lantering, they the one get dropped like that instantly, or if it's in a 1v1, they're, they're getting slowed that much, they're getting kicked into the air, they're getting that red, um, that it's really hard for you to land those three, those two shots that they need to down you, whereas you... You can just spray all day. Um, because the hit fire is so damn accurate. Like this. Look how quick he just got dropped. Like, it's phenomenal how strong it is. Um, so, you know, this is just a sort of... This is why I'm not going too in-depth with it. Usually I break it down. But things like this, like making people quit out, I personally don't enjoy this at all. I mean, it's pretty fun to do for a few games. But honestly, things like this, where you're just spraying people down... It really does highlight how strong and more, more broken the Lancer is, but I thought, like I said, if I'm doing tips and tactics, it would be wrong of me not to sort of show a, a, a playstyle that actually works, just because I think it's wrong. 
Um, I'm just showing them there. You can use it if you want. You can not use it because you think it's cheap. I'm just showing it. I think we both go flawless or I get one death in this gameplay. And it's very, very obnoxious to say the least. It's episode 54 of Play Smart. It's basically running as in a very, very tight unit, Lancer. And you see how we're always next to each other. We each tried to cover each other angle, each other's angles. Like this, we got split up and we died. Now, you can die like that. That is one hard counter that I've seen to this strategy, is ink stuns. Ink stuns kill you every time. Like Unless you roll and dodge that ink, you will die. Because obviously, when you sat there and you're stunned, you can't. You know, you're not going to shoot a shotgun bullet and try bodying. You're just going to end up farting out one Lancer bullet. But things like this, like, you know, it's very, very accurate. You don't really, as long as if it's roughly in the center of your screen, it's going to hit him. And if not, it's not like the shotgun where you miss. You can quickly adjust it because basically you're seeing the stream of bullets yourself. Um, so, yeah, this one's a really quick episode. Um, I'd like to say hopefully you enjoyed, but I'm probably going to guess that this will be one of my least liked ones because of um, the actual playstyle that it promotes. But, you know, I've got to show it. I feel that it would be wrong of me to ignore a playstyle that works because I've got some sort of, you know, I hate it or something like that. I don't think that's what my series is. My series is to show strategies. This strategy works. Um, you know, it's like here. You can get caught out. You do if you trade. Obviously, he's going to get down and get back up. So there are twos and throws to it. But honestly, if you had two people like me and Stotty doing this, and just one guy shooting from afar, or one guy just regular shotgunning, it's very, very almost nigh and impossible to deal with. Uh, the video's coming to a close. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you will enjoy the up and coming videos. We've got some funny ones planned. So. That was episode 54 of Play Smart, and we'll call this uh, com sort of, it was close-knit lancering. Um, I didn't quite catch the score there, I actually looked away from my screen, but I'm pretty sure it was like two silly scores to say it was lancer only. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, continue to like and subscribe and comment and do all those good things. Peace. Are you ready for the base? My DJ, yo, get on the case. Who's it? Who's that? Get down. Who's in the mic with a beginning sound?